Last year in 2020, Juan Soto became the youngest player in the National League to win the batting title. He beat out Pete Reeser of the 1941 Brooklyn Dodgers, who hit 363 at age 22. Soto was 21. But there was a still younger player to win a league batting title, and that is Al Kaline. In 1955, Al Kaline hit 340 and won the American League batting title at age 20. He was brought up to the Tigers at age 18, straight out of high school, no time spent in the minor leagues. Al Kaline was pretty much the perfect baseball player. Um, great defender, he won 10 gold gloves. His manager, Chuck Dressen, said that he managed for 16 years and Al Kaline's the best player he ever managed. He had over 309 times, he had over 20 home runs nine times, 297 lifetime hitter, over 3,000 hits, 18 time All Star. Al Kaline and the Detroit Tigers are taking on the Brooklyn Dodgers in the 1957 double elimination tournament, round three. Both teams are two wins and no losses. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I ever get back for his root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes you're out at the old ball game. Hi, everybody. This is Appa Brian with Appa Baseball Classics, except we're playing Fall Classic Baseball for this 1957 tournament. Today we have the 2-0 Detroit Tigers at the 2-0 Brooklyn Dodgers round three action. We've had the starting lineups. Let's do the bullpen rolls for the starting pitches. Uh, Johnny Padres, a left-hander, is starting for the Brooklyn Dodgers. He rolls a 13, which is column B. Using Fall Classic Baseball, today I'm going to use the Quick outs charts for the outs. Kids will come off the fast action cards. But primarily, we like to roll the dice. Here's a pitch to Johnny Groff. 32 is off the pitcher's card, working off of column B. And that is going to be a ground ball to shortstop, one away. Harvey King. 277 hitter in 1957, 59. He won the American League batting title. It's up over 350 that year. Uh, 45 is off of the pitcher Padres card. And that's a ground ball to shortstop as well. Charlie Neal is playing shortstop for the Brooklyn Dodgers. He makes the second play. And here is Al Kaline. 297 lifetime hitter, 399. Home runs over his career. 32 is a little roller in front of the catcher. Campanella is quick as a cat, has it, throws the first. Three up and three down for the Tigers who go to the bottom of the first. No score with the Dodgers coming to bat. Right hander Duke Moss needs to do his bullpen roll. He is going to be uh, pitching off his B column. Roll of eight. Junior Gilliam steps in the box for Brooklyn. Gilliam is a switch hitter, and that is going to be a ground ball back to Moss. One away. Pee Wee Reese, third baseman. Three five is off the pitcher's card, and that's going to be a pop up to the third baseman. Reno Batoria is under it and makes the catch. Two outs. Duke Snyder. Number 
1957 was another one of those 40 home run seasons, which he had several of in Brooklyn. 1-3 is a little number in front of the Tiger catcher. It's picked up by Red Wilson, the throw to first, three outs. For the top of the second inning, no score. Johnny Padres completes his warm-up tosses. He is a real hero in Brooklyn. He was the winning pitcher when they won the 1955 World Series. Winning pitcher of Game 7. Here is Ray Boone. 5-1 is a defense check. We're going to check the shortstop there. And that's um, shortstop for Brooklyn is Neal. That's a 9. And it's 13 above the error number. So that's going to be... A play made by Neil. One away. Reno Bertoya from Windsor, Ontario, Canada, just across from Detroit. He is an Italian Canadian. Here's the pitch to Reno Bertoya. 31's a base hit for Bertoya, the first hit of the game. Padres has an average arm. Bertoria is not a big threat to steal. He only stole two bases in 57. Could always hit and run. Bowling is a hit and run B guy. I think we'll, we'll try the hit and run. There is a hit and run card. And that is... right here. So you roll uh, two six-sided dice, add them together. Nine. Pop up to the shortstop. Runner has to go back to first. Didn't work. All right, here is two outs now for the Tigers and Bill Tuttle. Three one is a single for Bill Tuttle. That's a base hit to center field. Bertoya at first goes to third, and the Tigers have runners on the corners with two down. Red Wilson will get will not get a free pass because uh, he's a two thirty nine hitter. Yeah, he he will get a free pass. Duke Moss is all eighty six, so yeah, not pitching Red Wilson. Catcher stands up, holds out the glove. Red Wilson gets four wide ones. Now Duke Moss. Here's the pitch from Johnny Padres with the bases loaded. Don't walk the pitcher here. 24 is going to be a ground ball back to Padres. Easy play. Throws the first. Tigers will strand the bases loaded. We go to the bottom of the second. There is no score. For the last of the second inning, it, Brooklyn will send up Bill Hodges, Carl Ferrillo, and Elmer Vallow. Here's a pitch from the right-hander, Duke Moss, to Gil Hodges. 1-6 is a line drive to shortstop. One away. Carl Ferrillo, the Polish rifle, has a good bat as well as a strong arm in right field. Here's a pitch to Ferrillo, 52. Defense check. Uh, that is going to be pitcher error check. Moss is a four. It is a one. That's going to be an error on the pitcher. Dick Duke Moss throws the ball away. And Ferrilla goes to second. That's the two asterisks after the error. Average runner at second base. Here is Elmer Vallow. One down. One on. Pitch to Vallow. 6 1 is uh, off the B car. That's a swing and a miss. Vallow misses connections. Goes back to the bench. A strikeout victim. Two outs. Roy Campanella. 
seems like every other year was a superstar year offensively for Campanella. Of course, his defense was consistent every year. But this was one of his off years, 242, 13 homers. Charlie Neal's on deck, and then the pitcher's after that. Pitcher's a decent hitter. Here's the pitch to Campanella. 51, that's a defense check. Pitcher again. Uh, Moss is a four. He makes the play. Three outs. We go to the top of the third. No score. Johnny Groth will lead off the top of the third inning for the Tigers. He went to a prestigious high school, parochial high school in Illinois, L played football, basketball, and baseball there. He led the football team to a state championship. And then the war came along. He was drafted and in the military. He w uh, tried out for Bob Fellows, Feller's baseball team in the military and made the team. He was the only non-professional baseball player to made it, but he held his own. He hit 341. Feller got him the promise uh, to give Cleveland a first crack at his contract after the war. But um, Detroit came with so much money, much more money, he signed with Detroit. Here's a pitch to Johnny Groff. 11, that's going to be a single to right field. And Groff leads off the Tiger third with a base hit. Did not steal any bases in 57, so he's not a threat to go here is Harvey King. 16 is going to be a ground ball to shortstop. And that is going to be a 6-4-3 double play. If the white dice was a 1, it would be a fielder's choice. Or no, the, the runner would advance. And if the Brooklyn shortstop was weak armed. I mean, weak armed shortstops, do you see? Uh, it would be a field of choice. So, just like that, there's two quick outs. Harvey Keene rolls into the twin killing, and here is Al Kaline with the bases clear. That's a fly ball to center field. Under it is Duke Snyder, the Duke of. Flutbush puts the squeeze on that fly ball, and there's three outs. We go to the bottom of the third. No score. Charlie Neal, the pitcher, and then the top of the order. Here's the pitch to Dodger shortstop Charlie Neal. Swinging from the right side of the plate, 62. Is a strikeout 1 to 12. It's 19. So it's going to be a fly ball to right field. One away. Al uh, Kaline makes the play. Now, uh, Kaline uh, once had a stretch of 242 games from 70, 70 to 1972 where he did not make any error. Here's the pitch to Johnny Padres, the pitcher, a 208 hitting pitcher. 42 is out. That's a pop out to the catcher on the infield. That's two outs. Now, Junior Gilliam, former Negro League player. Here's a pitch to Jim Gilliam. 32 is a out off the second column, and that is a ground ball uh, just out in front of home plate. The catcher throws to first. Three outs. Three up and three down. Brooklyn's looking for their first base hit. We're at the top of the fourth. No score. All right, Ray Boone steps in the box for the Detroit Tigers in the top of the fourth. 6-6 six, six roll with a 16. That's over his, his number is four. So it's going to be a leadoff double for Ray Boone. Tigers have a man in scoring position with no outs. Reno Bertoya, 275 with four. Four home runs. I think you might want to try to move that man to, th to third. Uh, it takes two rolls on uh, butt plays. Um, first, you roll a six sided dice, see if the butt gets down. Okay, here's the bunting card. 
So here we go. Bertoia is a sacrifice one to five. One, he gets the butt down uh, toward the pitcher, and it is a good sacrifice. So Boone goes a third, one with four second covering. First, sacrifice played by Reno Bertoia. Frank Bowling, one out. Brooklyn will play the infield in. Here's the pitch to Frank Bowling. 3-2 is a 19 is a fly ball to right field. Uh, the runner on third will advance. And it is a sack fly. Tigers playing some small ball. Get on the board. One to nothing. Bill Tuttle. Six six roll for Tuttle. Uh, Twenty is going to be just a single. You have to get at least fourteen to get a triple. Bill Tuttle is two for two on the day. Not a threat to steal. Padres gets a sign from the catcher. Goes into a stretch here as the pitch to Red Wilson thirty five is a ground ball to shortstop. That is going to be a 6-4-3 double play, except there's already two outs. Make that a 6-3. But the Tigers get on the board. Detroit 1, Brooklyn nothing. All right, the Kentucky Colonel will come to, to lead off the bottom of the fourth for Brooklyn. Pee Wee Reese. Here's the pitch to Pee Wee. 21 is a ground ball to third base. One out, play made by Reno Bertoia. Duke Snyder. Snyder pops it up. On the infield, Red Wilson calls for it near home and makes the catch. Two outs. Pop out to catcher. Here is Gil Hodges. And I just lost the dice on the. Here's the pitch to Hodges. 45 is a line drive to the third baseman, Reno Bertoria. Three up and three down for Brooklyn. Brooklyn's still looking for their first hit. Can you jinx the team through the first four? We'll point out no hits yet for Brooklyn. Johnny Padres returns to the mound, and he will pitch to the pitcher, Duke Moss, to lead off the top of the fifth inning. Tigers are up by a penny. Here's the pitch to the pitcher, Duke Moss. 31 is a ground ball to second base. Junior Gilliam has it, throws the first. One away. That brings up Johnny Groff. He had a 15-year 15, 15 career. A solid major leaguer, good defender, pretty good offensive player. 63 is going to be an out. Fly ball to center field. Duke Snyder picks it out of the sky, and there's two outs. Harvey King. Thirty-one is a single for King. One for three. Al Kaline, a 295 hitter in 1957, two years after he won the battle title in 1955 with a 340 average. 64 is going to be a fly ball to left field. That's taken by Elmer Vallo. Tigers are retired in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Detroit one, Brooklyn nothing. All right, Carl Farrillo will be off for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Here's the pitch from Duke Moss to Carl Farrillo. 44 is going to be a base hit line to center field in front of the center fielder, Bill Tuttle. 
that's the first hit for the Dodgers. Varello did not steal any bases in 57, not a threat to go. Here's Elmer Vallow, former Philadelphia Athletic. Here's a pitch to Vallow. Uh, 23 is going to be an out. That's a line drive to the first baseman. Uh, let's see. Uh, three would be a line drive to center field, rather. A line drive to center field. This is the only game that provides line drives to the outfield that I'm aware of. Okay, here's Roy Campanella. I haven't played all the baseball games that are out there, but um, first one I've seen. Here's Roy Campanella. 34 is going to be off the B column. That's a base hit for Campanella. Campy lines a single to left field. First to third advance if the left fielder has a weak arm. And let's see. Johnny Groth has a strong arm. So runner stops at second. Charlie Neal. One down. Campanella is at first. He's a slow runner. Neal is at second. Or Ferrillo, rather, is at second. He is average. And now Charlie Neal steps up to the plate. One out, two on. Brooklyn threatening. Here's the pitch to Charlie Neal. 32 is a line drive to left field. Two outs. And now it's going to be up to Johnny Padres to help himself. 205 hitter in 57. No home runs and 72 at bats. 53 is range check. Uh, could be a double uh, hit down the line to third base. The third baseman is Reno Bertoria. He is a seven range, seven Bertoria. Just makes the play, diving stop, throws the first. Outstanding play by Reno Bertoria to. Close out the threat, and we go to the sixth. Dodgers are not on the board yet. one nothing Tigers. Ray Boone came up with the Cleveland Indians. He's now playing for the Tigers, and will lead off for Detroit. 3-3 is a base hit for Ray Boone through the middle to center field. Ray Boone is 2-3, for three, singled and doubled. Bruno Vittoria. Four two is off the pitcher's card. That's going to be a fly ball to center field, caught by Duke Snyder. One away. Tiger second baseman Frank Bowling. Later played with the Milwaukee Braves. Here's Bowling, 25. Uh, that is going to be a out. Ground ball to second base. Uh, five on the white die. That's going to be a double play. Unless the second baseman has a weak arm. Uh, Gilliam does have a weak arm, so it's going to be a fielder's choice. Four to six. Bowling is at first. Here's Bill Tuttle. Two down. Here's a pitch to Bill Tuttle. Five six is off the pitcher's card. It's swing and a miss. Strike three. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Detroit one. Brooklyn nothing. All right, Dumb Bums are at the top of the order. Junior Gilliam, Pee Wee Reese, and Duke Snyder for the last of the six. Duke Ma Moss has had them eating out of his hand through the first five. Here's the pitch to Junior Gilliam. One five is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Play made by Harvey King. One away. P. 
Wee Reese. Reese is 0 for 2, pop to third, and roll that to third base. 44, though, here is going to be a base hit to the opposite way. A single for Reese. All right, he stole five bases out of seven tries. It gives him an SBA sweat of 14. Duke Moss's hold is right-handed weak, so he's not great at holding runners. This is the one area where I have a little bit of question in fall classic baseball. Um, you have an automatic steal system over the plus after a base hit or a walk, uh, they can steal automatic. But if you leave it up to the manager, then you need to roll to get a jump. It only talks about getting a base stealing jump off the pitcher's arm running, which in Moss's case, he's right-handed weak. Uh, one, he would not get a jump. And then you would, he would, there'd be a throw to first pickoff attempt. But you have some people who uh, say if you're one for one stealing and your SBS rate is 20, you could steal every time. So I would think you'd have to roll the jump for both. And that's what I've started to do. Let's, Moss will be the black die, and Reese will be the white die. First of all, jump off Moss, he gets the jump, and there's no throw over first. But one to two, Pee Wee Reese's jump doesn't get the jump, so he can't go. Otherwise, you'd have somebody who stole two out of two bases, then you could have him steal you know, 100 bases in a season. So here is Reese holding tight at first. Duke Snyder is the batter, one down. Dodgers down by one. Can okay, Duke Snyder do something to change the scoreboard? Here's the pitch to the Duke of Flatbush. 34 is a base hit for Snyder. Base hit to center field. Runner goes to third off the fast action card. First and third, Brooklyn, they're in business with runners on the corner. And Gil Hodges coming to bat, 299 hitter, 27 home runs on the year. Detroit will play the infield back. Hope to avoid a big inning. Here's the pitch to Gil Hodges. 23 is a swing and a miss. Strike three. There is a big strikeout right there by Duke Moss. A disappointed Hodges goes back to the dugout. One more hurdle to leap, and that's Carl Ferrillo, a 308 hitter, 306 hitter in 57. Infield's back. 5-5 five, five with a 9 on the, It's going to be a triple, a basis clearing triple on the split for Ferrillo drives in Reese and Snyder, and Brooklyn takes a 2 nothing advantage, 2-1 to one lead. Carl Ferrillo comes through. Here is Elmer Vallow. 24 is hit by pitch one to four. Otherwise, he is out on a line drive to second base. Three outs, two runs score. We go to the seventh. Brooklyn two and Detroit one. Okay, Johnny Padres returns to the mound for Brooklyn. He's eight batters away from his point of fatigue. Red Wilson is the first scheduled hitter for the Detroit Tigers. Now trailing by one. Here's the pitch to Red Wilson. 43 off the second column of Padres is a fly ball to left field caught by Brooklyn's left fielder, Elmer Vallo. We're going to stay with Moss. They're down by a run, but he's been pitching so well. 6-5 is off the homer card, uh, minus 3, 1 to 6. It's a 5, and what do you know, Duke Moss connects and hits one out of the ballpark. 2-2 two, two, tie. So manager Jack, Jack Tinky is happy he left his pitcher in to swing the bat. He hit one home run in...
57. Got a big one here. Here is Johnny Groth. Twenty-four is hit by pitch on a roll of six, and he is hit by a pitch, and that's never been seen before. Batter gets hit by a pitch after a home run. Groth takes first. Harvey King. Two four is a line drive to second base. That's going to be a double play if the D20 is a 2 or 12. Let's re-roll that because it's already been used to determine it was a line out. The 2 or 12 would be a double play. It's not a double play. Um, Groth just barely gets back. Two outs. Here is Al Kaline. Two five is an out at the 13. That's going to be a Ground ball to the shortstop, Charlie Neal. That ends the Tigers' seventh inning, but on the home run by the pitcher, Duke Moss, the Tigers' two, Dodgers' two. Roy Capel leads off for the Brooklyn side in the bottom of the seventh inning. Game is now tied, 35. Off the second column is going to be a ground ball to third base. Reno Victoria picks it up, throws the first, one away. Charlie Neal. Fourteen is going to be a fly ball to center field. Bill Tuttle is under it and pats the glove. He makes the catch. Two down. I think... Um, Brooklyn is going to make the same decision. They're going to leave Padres in. It's been mano a mano. Padres against Moss. They're going to let him try to see this through to the end. He goes up with two outs to swing the bat. One, two is a out. That's a ground out to the shortstop. The Dodgers are retired in the seventh. We go to the eighth, tied two to two. Padres is now three batters away from his point of fatigue. And then after he gets there and one bad thing happens to him, uh, there is a column D, which is brutal. Here is Ray Boone stepping in the top of the eighth of a tie ball game. Ray Boone is two for three, singled and doubled. 41 is a base on balls. Third time he's been on base. Here is Reno Batoya. No outs. Boone at first. 4-3 is a fly ball to center field. Duke Snyder is under it. Makes the catch. Quick throw back into the infield. Runner holds it first. Frank Bowling comes up to bat. Bowling is 0 for, 3, 0 for 2, but he has a sacrifice fly and driven in a run. 54 is the unusual play chart. Uh, with a man on base, wild pitch or pass ball, refer to the pitcher's wild pitch rating. If 17 falls within the range, it'll be a wild pitch. Padres is 1 through 7 on wild pitches, so it's not a wild pitch. Here's a pitch to Bowling. 2 6 is a single against a left handed pitcher, a base hit to center field. A uh, fast runner can go to third. Boone is fast. Others can advance with wrists. So he's fast. He goes to third. First and third with only one out. Now we're at the point of fatigue. So another bad thing happens. Padres will go to a column D. Infield is going to play back for a double play. Bill Tuttle's the batter. He is two for three, two singles and a strikeout. Key pitch of the ball game. 33 is a base hit for Bill Tuttle to center field. Boeing, who's at first, motors the third, run on third scores. So first and third again. 
Three to two Tigers, timeout. The wheels have come off Johnny Padres. There'll be a pitching change. The new Dodger pitcher will be right-hander Ed Roebuck, eight and two on the season. He uh, will roll for his bullpen. That's 20, that's not his best stuff. That's his worst stuff. All right, here's a pitch to Red Wilson. Again, the uh, infield is back, hoping for a double play, 63 is off the column three of Roebuck. That's going to be a strikeout. Red Wilson caught looking. Two down. All right, in this case, Tiger manager Jack Tiggy is going to try to squeeze more out of the offense. Two outs, runners on the quarters. He's going to bring in a pitch hitter for Duke Moss. It goes seven innings. Two earned runs allowed, five hits, two Ks, and no walks. Bring in a pitch hitter. <clears throat> I had to decide. Next pitcher is going to be Lou Sleater. And Sleater hit 250 with three home runs and 20 at bats. So look at all the home runs on his card. And then you got Charlie Maxwell, 276, 24 home runs. So he's a strong home run card, not as strong as Slater's. But 26 points higher, you know, hit gets you another run. So I'm going to go ahead and let Slater take his throws in the bullpen while Maxwell bats. And here is the pitch to Charlie Maxwell from Ed Roebuck. Two outs, two on. Here's the pitch. 51, that's off the defense card. That's shortstop error card. That's uh, Neal. Kind of high, 9, but it's a 20. He makes the play. 6-3. to three. Charlie Maxwell rolls out to the shortstop. Tigers get one in the eighth. Lou Slater will be the new Tiger pitcher. In 1957, he went um, three and three for the Tigers, 3.76 ERA in 41 relief pitchers for Detroit. Here is Lou Slater's bullpen roll. He rolls an 11, which is column B. Switch hitter Junior Gilliam steps into the box. He's swinging from the right side against the left handed Sleater. 3 5 is off uh, Sleater's card. That's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop, one away. Pee Wee Reese. Thirty-two. Check the pitcher's card uh, for a double minus seven. Double. Um, oh, so wait a minute. He's pitching off the yeah, B column. So one and two minus seven. That's going to be an out. Ground ball to third. Two outs. Here's Duke Snyder. Dodgers are running out of opportunities. Here's a pitch to Snyder. 21 is a swing and a miss, strike three. Three outs. We go to the top of the ninth, the final frame, Detroit three and Brooklyn two. Johnny Groth, one for three, steps into the box. Here's a pitch from Ed Roebuck. That's going to be a base hit to left field. Groth is two for three, four. Harvey King. No park home run, 46. Um, so that means no possibility for a home run off the Evitz Field card. Uh, but 18 is a single, could be stretched into a double or out at second. Fielded by the center, yeah, 18 is fielded by the center fielder. Snyder's assist rating is 2, so 1 to 2, he'd be out for, for trying to stretch it into a double. I think we'll not do that. We'll take the single and all runners advance two bases. So they're going to get a runner at third with nobody out. 
timeout. Walter Austin is going to go to the bullpen and bring in his strikeout pitcher, Sandy Koufax. He relieved 21 times in 1957. Um, that's his batting card. I got the wrong card up there. Here's his pitching card. 104 innings, 122 strikeouts. Brooklyn needs a strikeout here. Al Kaline steps into the box. Here's a stretch and the pitch from Sandy Koufax, the fireballer, 22, is going to be a single for Kaline. Kaline wins that Battle of Hall of Famers with a base hit to left field. First to third advance on a weak arm. He doesn't have a weak arm in left, so first and second. But a run scores, and Detroit takes a 4-2 to lead. Still no outs, and the first three Tigers have reached in the ninth. Ray Boom. 5-5. Five, five. That's a triple for Ray Broom. That scores two more runs. Detroit takes a 6-2 lead. And Boone is three-quarters of the way to a cycle. He is single, doubled, and tripled. Koufax gets the ball back, rubs it up. Fireballer goes into a stretch. Here, uh, infield's going to play normal depth. Pitch to Rene Bertoria. 61 is a strikeout. Let's see, except for I didn't do the bullpen roll for Koufax. Let's pick a card. Ninth inning. 10. And so that's, he's got B stuff. Still a strikeout, one out, Frank Bowling. Infield still at normal depth. Pitch to Bowling, 21 is a ground ball to the pitcher. All right, uh, the quick out chart references you to the main board to see what happens to the runner. And in this case, he scores. Unless it's hit to the catcher, it was hit to the pitcher. So one to three. Seven to two, Detroit. Bill Tuttle. Forty-four for Tuttle's a single to left field. Five hits in the Tiger ninth. Here is Red Wilson. Forty-five is a out. It'll be a fly out to center field. The out F changes fly outs. All results outs to uh, flats. And then he has a Tiger in ninth, but they score four runs on five hits. And they go to the bottom of the ninth with a 7-2 to lead. All right, Bill Hodges will lead off for the Dodgers, now down by five in the ninth. Fans are streaming out of the ballpark. That's going to be an out. Line drive to second base. One down. Hilda Chester, Hilda Chester takes her cowbell home. Carl Ferrello. 4-3 is a fly ball to right field. Two outs. The Dodger Symphony files out of the, packs up their instruments and they're getting ready to file out of the stadium. Here is Elmer Vallo. 6-6 six, six roll for Elmer Vallo. That's a drive. Deep to right field, off the wall, a double for Vallo. Roy Campanella. 
24 is beyond the hit by pitch range. That's going to be an out, a ground ball to your shortstop. The throw to first. That's the ball game. Final score to Tigers 7, Dodgers 2. We'll be back with a wrap up. All right, the Detroit Tigers come into Ebbets Field in Brooklyn and they walk out with a victory by scoring seven runs on 15 hits and one error. Brooklyn scored two runs on six hits and committed no errors. Blue Sleater is the winning pitcher for Brooklyn and Johnny Padres takes the loss. Home run in the game, there was only one and that was by the pitcher, Duke Moss. Um, might have co-stars of the game. Duke Moss was not the winning pitcher. Game was tied when he left. It was tied two to two. And then um, they Tiger scored a run when Slater came in in the eighth. But Moss pitched seven innings, gave up two earned runs, five hits, two strikeouts, and a walker. He pitched really well, and hit a home run. So he will be one of the stars of the game. But let's not forget Ray Boone, who hit nearly for the cycle. Was on base four out of five times, three for four, with a walk, single, double, tripled, scored two runs, and drove in two runs. Big day for Ray Boone. And the Tigers move to 3-0. and oh. Brooklyn goes to 2-1. and one. This is what the bracket looks like. We have one more game in the third round. That's going to be Baltimore against Cincinnati. That game will be played at Baltimore Memorial Stadium. And um, that will complete round three. Brooklyn goes down to the bottom of the bracket. They'll play whoever w wins between St. Louis and the Yankees. Um, so, so far, there are eight teams remaining. But pretty much with every game in the next round, somebody's going to drop off. Um, and I think from this point, um, we're going to put all, all the remaining games on the channel and not play any more games offline. I did have one game offline that I played, and that was the Cardinals beating the White Sox and knocking out the White Sox 5-4 to four in extra innings. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this broadcast. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and God bless. Except one more afterthought. If the Tigers are ever in a um, pitch-hitting situation going forward, I don't want to forget Lou Slater. Look at that card. Three home runs out of 20 at bats. So home runs on 33 through 66 and even a chance on 22. So all those double rolls could go over the wall. We're going to remember him for pitch hitting duties.